Hey, it's uh, Raven Tactical here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of strange already. It's August, and I'm losing light in the morning already. This kind of sucks. I usually enjoy having, like, the, uh, I drive to work, having uh, daylight going to work and from work. But August, it's already started to get pretty dark in the morning. Um, I wanted to do a, a book review, and... This book is kind of a, a different kind of book. It's not a it's not a prepping book. It's not really a um, how are we gonna call it? It's not a prepping book. It's not an action book. It's more of a warning or an explanation. And Ted Koppel he wrote a book called Lights Out. Now there's a couple of books called Lights Out. So make sure you when you do it, I'll put the link in for Ted Koppel. And Ted Koppel wrote this book. He's an old, let's say, like an old school journalist. Before, excuse me, before journalists became just talking heads and having a guy come on as an expert. This is an investigation journalist. He wrote this book over, I believe, a couple years, and he went out and investigated it. Um, subject matter on this was uh, the, Nash, or the nation's grid the various ways we can have a grid down situation and he goes into depth on things like um, he brought up the San Francisco or the, the West Coast attacks on the power grid substation which is another ballot thing you know that was a, a dry run but a substation attack is something that could happen and uh, you know if they did a test bed run why wouldn't they have more substation runs and shut down the power grid he talks about how um, having the one taken down was bad and we were able to kind of um, balance everything out power wise and handle the loads but if they lost multitudes of them then yeah there was no way of getting that power back and it took that substation took over 30 to 60 days to fix and that's also including the fact that everything else had power so you have to imagine that if you have multiple substations out and no power and fuel shortages and all this in your um, in time, what do you call it, on time distribution is shut down, yeah, it's going to slow you down. He also talks about like super, I don't know if it was super transformers or super substation parts. Some of them are custom made and the rail lines that actually went to them no longer exist. Like these things were just built back in the day, and if they were completely destroyed, they're custom built, and a lot of them were a lot of them weren't even built here, so they're built overseas. I mean, you know, the people there were talking about how it took years to build. He talks about the hacking ability, and it goes into computer grid shutdown. Like he talks about the various different power companies and all the different. Uh, computer software they use and how it's not standardized, but at the same time It's completely open to attack. I mean granted they have people in security in it But they're getting attacked constantly from foreign and from domestic sides He talks about how it's shutting down a grid system shutting down this or even spoofing it So that it looks like you're fine, but the thing is the gas buildup. Maybe it's a gas turbine generator where they're building gas. Well, they could spoof the gauges and they're thinking it's okay, but it's really it's building too much pressure and it blows, you know? Um, Ted talks about uh, you have grid down, you have the CME, I believe he goes into. Um, he does the things, investigates a couple of preppers at the end. And then he has kind of like a reflection about well, what he thinks about the whole grid down scenario. And uh, it's interesting because he admits to being a die-hard leftist liberal who realizes that he won't survive something like this. He even kind of has an epiphany of like, I don't think I'll be able to make it. I don't think I'd be able to survive. I don't have the skills for this, but some people do. He, uh, he wrote a pretty balanced book. I mean, I don't think you have this kind of journalism anymore where someone can be impartial, whether it is on the left or right. It was it kind of went straight down the middle. 
uh, I would recommend this book. Either you get it in Audible's or you get it in, you know, a hard copy book. It was really informative. Um, really, he put it in plain English for people. And if you want a good description on uh, basically the weakness of our American power grid system, then this book's perfect for you. Um, I'll put the link in the description. I would recommend, highly recommend you checking this book out. So please enjoy the book. Um, let me know what you think. Like, comment if you've read the book before. Um, comment as well. Give me your review on it. And uh, have a good day.